Incidents of hate crimes against Muslims in London have almost doubled since 2013, according to the police. They say they've spiked since November's Paris massacres. More than 100 incidents were reported in a fortnight following the attacks and almost 150 last month. Well, campaigners say that the Muslim community is now feeling an ever greater sense of fear with many women removing their headscarves and men shaving off their beards in order to hide their faith. A report by London's police shows that apart from the physical violence, assailants often bully Muslims, also abuse them verbally, send them hate messages and cause damage to their property. Islamophobia is also on the rise across the whole of the UK as RT's Anastasia Cherkin now reports. Sadly, Islamophobia is nothing new, with episodes like this in broad daylight becoming way too common in the UK. There's been a sharp rise in the frequency that Muslims are being harassed after the terror attacks in Paris. The community, as well as its places of worship, are faced with a major spike in hatred, fear and suspicion. According to a report by UK-based organization tracking incidents involving the Muslim community, Islamophobic attacks in the country have tripled after the tragic events in Paris up by a staggering 275 percent. The majority of those harassed are women, easily detectable on the streets. They become the primary source of hatred. Definitely it has gone worse, definitely it has gone worse, especially since Paris. You're absolutely right, because I can personally tell you about three incidents which has happened in this very small city since Paris has happened. This 33-year-old Muslim woman is a mother of three and has lived in the UK for nine years. Recalling being attacked by a group of men, she chooses to remain anonymous. Spitting, saying the swearing words and just saying, if you call the police, we're going to kill you. They were saying, you Muslim B, F, F, B, mm. It was literally just Muslim FB, Muslim BF. This is what I feel for you, kind of all those sort of statements. He not only bang, uh, head butted, he also hit me on my chest a couple of times, but that was the time when I blacked out. The clinical psychologist is undergoing counseling for post-traumatic stress and has taken her case to court. It's just humiliating. Why on earth would somebody for no absolute reason just come and hit you on the streets? The hate are scarves, the hate has been covered. They just don't like us to be in UK. A doctor and blogger, Masuma Rahim, is born and bred in the UK. Walking the streets in her homeland will never be the same, she says. This is the most serious it's ever been in my lifetime. And it makes me sad that terrorists are doing this, that they're frightening us, that they're dividing us. And it makes you feel that your home is not a place of sanctuary. But it is, it's, it's, it's a terrible situation to be in for all of us. Where does this go? I mean, what kind of society are we headed to? It is, it is a depressive phase. Being a Muslim, it's, it's really hard. It's, it's really a turning point. It's a shame this all is happening. It's an ongoing fire, which, which will be very difficult to kind of put down in a few months' time because the way things are going with the Syria happening, with all the other things happening, it will be very difficult to get it under control. Anastasia Churkina, RT, 